Welcome to the Forecast Pro XE version 6 introduction to BAS models. Let's first observe what a BAS model is. A BAS model is a new product forecasting method and it focuses primarily on new to world items. Things like product introductions to something that hasn't existed before. The model itself tries to capture the adoption rates for two types of people. Innovators, those are early adopters, people who try to get technology right at the beginning. Or imitators, people who wait for technology to mature before they actually go and purchase. Here in Forecast Pro, we're going to look at two examples. Our first example is a data file that has six data points, or six years of history. In order to apply a BAS model, we'll go to our Model Settings tab, and we'll select the BAS Diffusion model. Notice that because we have more than five data points, we will automatically generate the coefficients. Here on the graph, we can see the actual model, or we can show a cumulative graph to look at the S-curve itself. Now let's take a look at a second example in Forecast Pro. This item has no historical data. It is a brand new product that we are introducing. We are again going to go to our Model Settings tab and choose our BAS Diffusion model. Now because we have no data, we need to specify the three coefficients. These are the coefficient of innovation, the coefficient of imitation, and the initial total of the data. For the initial total, we're going to set this at, say, 1 million units. For our initial coefficient of innovation, we're going to set this to 0 0.05. And for our coefficient of imitation, we're going to set this to 0 0.41. And when we do so, notice that this will build our S-curve, or our BAS diffusion curve. 